Hi everyone, most of your websites are looking pretty good. Um, two things that you might like to do are add a menu and change your theme. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a menu. In the next video, I'll show you how to change your theme. So here I am on my homepage, I'm logged in. So this is not the view that anybody other than me would have. It looks pretty similar because it's basically just my homepage, but um, you'll notice I have some buttons here. So one way to, to mess around with menus and themes is to come over here to the lower right and click customize and I can start customizing. Another way to get to the same place is to go instead of the lower right to the upper left, click on my sites. And here we are with my demo 2020 site. And we've got a few things here like some site stuff, pages, posts, etc. cetera, um, some tools I probably won't use, manage, you could add another person to contribute if you wanted to. Uh, but mostly I'm gonna use design. And so we've got themes, which I'll use in the next video and customize which I use now. So that was a second way to get to the same place, which is customize. And I can adjust the site identity um, and some homepage settings. I can make my site look kind of differently. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna add menus. So it actually did come with a menu already, which it called primary, which has a homepage and my blog feed, which is kind of what I need actually. Um, but I can also just make a new one. And your theme could have any number of menu locations, maybe just one or two or three, or I don't know, maybe four. Um, and in this case, it's got three locations, but it's, they're all blank. It hasn't assigned anything anywhere, so I don't see any menu over here. Um, so I could work with primary, but I think I'll just create a new menu. I will call it, I will call it demo menu. And you know you could make a menu for each of your locations, which sometimes is really cool, but in this particular case, I'm just gonna have my one demo menu, put it everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'll say next, and I'm gonna add some items. So the most useful things are to add my homepage, so you can get to the front of your website, and the blog feed. So no matter what your homepage does or doesn't show, there's always going to be an easy way to see all of your posts, which is really good. Um, you could also go to specific posts. If you used categories, I have a category called. So for Art 110, you don't need to use categories or tags, but for other things, they're really nice ways to organize your stuff. Um, if you had a sports blog, um, you know, you might have categories like NBA, NFL, NHL, um, and then maybe under, you know, NBA, you could have maybe NBA would be a category and your tags could be stuff like uh, Lakers, Celtics, UCLA, USC. Don't need to use categories or tags for Art 110, but can be really helpful for other websites that you might want to make. Um, you can also put individual pages or individual posts, um, which I don't so much need right now, but you also can put custom links. So anything anywhere on the whole World Wide Web can be in your menu if it's someplace you want to go. So for example, if I want to be able to drop by the 16 ideas page, just come over here, grab that URL, and then paste the URL here and give it a title like, add that to my menu. Um, if I want to have Beachboard, be able to go back and forth, just drop by Beachboard grab that URL, come back, add that to my menu. Um, you know, if I want Gmail, drop by Gmail, grab that URL. So again, most commonly um, menus are stuff on, on your actual website, but that's not it's not limited to that it could be anything you could go to wikipedia if, if you wanted to refer to that you probably wouldn't bother but you could uh or whitehouse.gov or you know anything that you wanted could be part of your menu if it's useful for you either useful for you as a kind of a home base or useful for the visitors to your website things you want them to be able to get at so what was that wikipedia okay so now i've 
added some stuff to my demo menu and I said I'm going to put it all over the place. And we can see on this preview over here that now I have home, blog feed, 16 ideas, Beachboard, Gmail, Wikipedia, and um, uh, these little broken links, I think are, you know, there's, I could have a, um, a, what were the choices, primary, oh, social links. So you could put a social menu, so I shouldn't actually make that social links. Let's take that off. <laughs> um, so here's, here's this, very nice. Um, so actually, let me make another menu called social and I'll make that the social links menu um, and then for this I'll add items and this is going to be custom links so this is kind of Facebook Twitter etc cetera, etc cetera. so I could come over here and grab like my Instagram for example uh, okay, so here's my Instagram. Paste that. I don't think the text really matters because it's going to use an icon, but I'll just put IG, add to menu. And we see over here, it uses what I typed IG, but over here, it's put my little Instagram icon. Um, if I go to LinkedIn, So let's get my URL for that. LI, add to menu. So over here, it's using what I typed, IGLI, but on my actual homepage, it's using icons, Instagram, LinkedIn, and whatever else. So anyway, that's enough. I'll say publish. Blah, 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 wait, wait, wait. Sooner or later, it'll be happy. Um, but it, basically, you can see my site now. I got my, you don't actually have to have a home button because the title it will go home, but it's also, it's kind of just a nice thing to have. Um, if you were going to make a portfolio website, you know, what I would probably want to see for a menu, I can close out of that customizer and visit site. And here it is. So now, it's still only got two posts on the front home page. As again, again, some themes will show many, some themes don't show any. This one shows two, but I've got more than two. So the easy way to get it is to have this blog feed button, which now has all of my blog posts here. So everything can be seen, which is probably better. Um, uh, if you were gonna make, say, a portfolio website, I would probably uh, make a menu that was home over here. And then over here, I would have about me, uh, about and contact. Contact's a really important button on a portfolio website. And in the middle, let's say it's a graphic design website, I would pick like three, I wouldn't put a button called portfolio or work because that's too generic. I would put instead buttons that are more specific. So for graphic design, I might put branding, packaging and typography. So people already kind of know what I do. Um, so a, a portfolio site for a graphic designer might be home, branding, packaging, typography, about, contact. Anyway, so these buttons work and then uh, you've also got these social media buttons if you want to have them uh, where people can get to your social stuff. So that's menus. Uh, go forth and make awesome websites. <laughs>